Welcome to another episode of Patrick Draws. My name is Patrick, and I'm here to help you draw using basic shapes. Today, we're going to be drawing Elsa from Frozen. So let's get into it. So let's take a look at this image of Elsa that I've got here. And the first thing that I want to do is, well, let's add an oval in for the head here, something like that. And let's go ahead and add our horizontal and vertical lines to divide the face. That's going to help us with our placement of the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. So the eyes here are basically like a half circle. See something like that with a line going that way. And then the this line is kind of angled inwards a little bit. Not It's not going straight across. It's kind of got a little bit of a down angle. And then we've got about a half a circle, something like that. And let's just throw a little oval in here for the nose so we know where that's going to go. And an almond shape here for the mouth. And that's going to get us that. Okay. The ears, let's just go ahead and throw in a couple of ovals here so we know the size and placement. And let's go down to the neck and shoulders here. So I know that the shoulders, let's just add a couple of circles there and let's connect them with the line. And then we know that the neck is going to go down something like that. Now let's just add it in a rectangle here for the neck. And then the shoulders, let's just connect the shoulders to the base of the neck and make the arms kind of go down a little bit. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this without the original drawing. And you can see we've kind of got ourselves almost looking like a little robot or like a doll or something. And so I know that the next thing I need to do is I want to come in and add the hair. Now the hair's a little tricky because it's flowing, it's it's a lot of different strands that are creating the hole. Well, what I want to try and find is some shapes that make up the whole of the hair. So the one thing that I notice is the hair is angling this way from the head here. It's kind of starting and then it comes down something like that. But what I really want to look for is an overall shape of the hair. So I'm probably going to see a couple of shapes here. I'm kind of seeing a bigger oval circle shape kind of like that and then I'm for this area I'm seeing these sweeping rectangles or even triangles that are kind of coming through like this and even the same thing over here we've just got some pieces coming out like that and the same thing over here and you can see it's almost chunking like rectangles right around here. And then from here, where the hair kind of parts down the middle here, it's kind of coming up and over, something like that. So if we think of the hair as an overall shape that's kind of moving with the wind in one direction, and then we add some shapes to kind of break it out, that kind of helps us get an overall hair look to this. And we need to add in some lines here for the forehead. And let's add in some eyebrows. So I'm just going to add in a couple of rectangles, something like that. And one more thing here, let's go ahead and add the eyes. Now the eyes are almost perfect circles here, but notice that they're centered more towards the inside of the eye. Something like that. And then let's go ahead and take another look without the original drawing. There. So you can see it's coming together just with our basic shapes. So let's go ahead and try that on our own here. So now I basically want to create my own shapes on the other side here. Actually, let's go ahead. Let's turn off the original drawing for now. And, and let's use this to create our own shapes. So I know that the face or the head here was an oval about, about that big. And then I know the neck is kind of a rectangle coming out of the center. 
something like that. I know that the shoulders, let's add our little circles. They're below the bottom of the neckline here. And I'm just going to connect these lines like we did before. Maybe have the shoulders come down a little bit. And let's see here. Okay, let's go back to the face. Let's add our divider lines. And this, this eye line is kind of arcing upward. So the face is tilting up. And that's giving you that the arc going this way. If I'm tilting down, the arc is going to be going down like that. So about halfway down from the eye line to the chin, we've got our nose is going to go there. And then about not halfway, but a, a little over halfway up, we know that the mouth falls somewhere in there. And that was our almond shape. So let's do something like that. I'm going to add a little oval for the nose. And our eyes are pretty big here. So let's do our little half circle with our underlying kind of angling inwards toward kind of down towards the nose a little bit. And same thing over here with a little bit of an angling down. And let's add a couple of ovals here for the eyes. And some rectangles that are kind of angling, kind of angling down, kind of almost like a surprised look. You know, if we're if we were to angle them upward or from the nose outward, then we get you know like a uh, an angry face. So we want to make sure that the the angle of these little lines and rectangles that we're putting here for the eyebrows. That angle is important because the eyebrows help create emotion. And let's throw in some ears. So I know that the ears, look at this, this eye line here touches right about where the ear joins into the head. So that's a good tip to know where to place your ovals for your ears is that they basically start from that line. And let's take a look here. Okay, so let's go ahead and try uh, the hair a little bit. So I'm going to do a light oval that's going to be a, starting above the head here. And it's going to go almost down to the neck. And so if I just do something like that, that's going to give me an overall shape of her hair going around her head. Because we don't want the hair to be going right against the head because that's not the hairstyle. And... Then we know that the hair needs to kind of angle in this direction. So I'm just going to do a few lines like that. And those lines are basically these shapes here that we had drawn in before. So if I lightly throw in some shapes here, and this is almost right here. This one's like a rectangle. This one here is like a rectangle. This one here is like a rectangle. And this one here is also like a rectangle. So we've got like a four-step rectangle that's kind of giving us a stair step down here of her hair and then swoops out. And then as the hair comes up and around, it's going to hit the part right about here. And let's do the other side, something like that. And then I've even got, remember, I've got this shape over here, so the hair kind of does something like that. Okay. All right, that gets us pretty close. Uh, so let's go ahead and take another look at the original drawing. Again, there's nothing wrong with using a reference to learn to draw. And that's what we're doing, is we're using her as a reference. So let me go ahead and get rid of these red lines, because we don't need those anymore. And... Let me see if there's anything that I missed here before we go into our cleaned up drawing. Oh, uh, her dress. So if you see this, it's got kind of an arc going like that. Even though it's there's not really, there's no material really right there. It's really just made by, you know, this cross hatching work on the dress. But I'm going to use that arc over here. So I'm just going to draw a little arc to kind of give me a guideline of where that dress needs to go. 
And check this out, there's these triangles that are kind of crisscrossing. So let's do something similar. Something like that. And then we've got this that's almost like a diamond. So let's just do something similar. Another set of triangles over here. And I'm using this line to help me guide where the tops of these are gonna hit. And then we got another little diamond thing over here. And then it kind of fades out, so I might just throw a little thing like that. Uh, diamond over here. Uh, we've got some triangles crossing over there. And so you can see that the pattern is like diamonds and triangles overlapping. And that's going to give us a start to the dress. Okay, so I think that we can go in now and we're going to switch layers to our cleanup layer and we're going to take our shapes layer and bring that down. And that's going to help us be our guide to do our cleaned up drawing. So I'm going to go ahead and grab black here. So I'm going to start with the eyes and let's just try and do a, a cleaned up line for the eyes here. And let's add in the eyes. Something like that. And we always like to put a highlight in our eyes. I'll just fill that in. And then the eyes have this, uh, these eyelashes coming off. So let's just kind of add some of that in there right now. And I'm just gonna quickly hatch that in. Okay, and back on the other eye here. This eye is a little more of a circle than, the, than this one. This one's a little more of a skewed oval. And something like that. Fill in that pupil. And same thing over here with the eyelashes. Let's just kind of sketch that in real quick. And maybe I'll add a little bit more underneath the eye. Something like that. Uh, let's go ahead and add in the eyebrows. And I don't want to make them too thick. Um, actually, I made that a little arcing up a little too high. So let me try that again. Something like that. Uh, so the nose here, I'm going to use this oval that we've got as a guide, but let's start with the nostrils, and we don't want to make them too big or too pronounced. And then let's just add a little line work to kind of represent where the nose is, but we don't want to make it too strong. And maybe a little under under the nose lip line there, something like that. Uh, let's go ahead and go work on the mouth here. So let's try and create this slim almond shape. Something like that. And that bottom lip might need to be a little bit bigger. So I'm just grab my eraser and a little bit more to that bottom lip there. Okay, uh, let's take a look here. So let's go ahead and kind of start in on the earlobes and where those kind of join to the face here. And you can see her jaw kind of has an angle right about here. So we want to make sure we get that in there. And same thing on the other side. But instead of drawing this complete line, which I could, I'm going to instead bring this line down into the neck and something like that. And I could, I could give us a little bit of a light line to show the rest of the jaw there. Maybe even join it. Something like that. Let's go ahead and show this arc here. 
So somewhere up here, almost in the middle of the forehead, is where her hair is going to come down, and it comes over the ear here. You see that? So we want to make sure that we do that. And then it kind of curls back around so that it's coming, because we've got all the hair kind of going towards the, re the left side of her body. Do something like that. Okay, and then I might even add a little bit of shadow back here. Try and show some depth. Maybe a little cross hatching. Don't want to go too dark. Um, okay. And let's work on the other side of her forehead here. So we've got these hairs kind of going up and then they come down. And so I'm going to try and do something similar. Something like that. Okay. And then the hair kind, kind of comes up here. And then let's start using this, our shapes here, as a guide for these stair steps that's happening with the hair here. Something like that. And again, you can see that it's a little darker in here where the shadow is from the hair. So I might try and mimic some of that, but I don't want to go too dark. Okay, I think we can come down and work on her shoulders. So from her neck, we've kind of got this curve, something. So we'll curve it and then kind of come over the shoulder there and do something similar on the other side here. We've got the curve from the neck that kind of curves on the shoulder there. And time for the dress. So let's just kind of sketch in some of these shapes that we have done before in our underdrawing. And I'm working a little faster than normal, but uh, you know, I want to try and keep the video short. Something like that, and let's let's pull it out a little bit. So I think that's coming together. You might want to add a little more shadow or volume to some of the hair. A little bit here and there, a couple of lines. Nothing major. I don't want to. I don't want to overdo it. And make sure that this connects back here. I might grab my eraser and just do a little cleanup here and there. And then we're going to be ready for to go ahead and paint this. Just a little more cleanup here on the shoulders. And then I might just do something like this because that'll help us color it in. And let me go ahead and get rid of the underlying drawing to, just to show it a little bit cleaner here. And that's looking pretty good. I'm just looking right now for things that don't look quite right. Uh, if anything that knows, I might be able to clean that up a little bit. So I think we can go ahead and move forward and try and color this. So let's go ahead and do that now. And let's add a couple of finishing details up. That's kind of a fun thing about working digitally. Let's go ahead and get our tool palettes out of the way and uh, look at our finished product. And I think that's looking pretty good. So if you have something you want to see me draw, just leave it in the comments below. This has been Patrick Davidson with Patrick Draws. Thanks for watching and see you next time.